in the name of Allah, uh, the beneficent, the merciful. All praise belong to Allah. Allah will thank you as us as usual. We praise you. Uh, we seek your forgiveness. Uh, we seek refuge with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the evil of ourselves and from the consequences of our evil deeds. Whosoever Allah guides, no one will misguide you. And whosoever Allah has misguided, no one will guide you. I bear witness that there is no God, there is no deity, you know, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I bear witness that uh, Muhammad ibn Abdullah is his prophet and his messenger. Brothers and sisters, in this fifth, our khutbah today, inshallah, we will talk about uh, commanding what is right and forbidding what is wrong. In Arabic, we call it Al Amr bil Ma'aruf wa Nahi al Munkar. We see someone doing something wrong, you have to talk have to advise him that's why we're talking about and exactly that's what we do on daily basis every friday we come here we stand here and then here we see in the society we talk about it nothing personal don't know people life but this is what we get and everything you do everything you committing Allah a previous nation people did that before you thousand thousand years ago it's like we're repeating. It might be different form. It might be different way of you doing it. But uh, people been doing it before. So that is our khutbah uh, for today. Uh, this is a very important topic. And Allah had talked about it in Surah Al-Baqarah. Allah had talked about it in Surah Al-Nisa. And Allah had talked about it in detail in Surah Al-Araf, which is Quran. Chapter 7, verses 163. Uh, this is start with a story. The story about the people of the you know village or town. The people of this town, this town is located in Bani Israel. Some people say it happened during the Sina Dawood town, and some people say it happened another time, whatever time it happened. And the people identify the village or the, the village to be a city that is on the coastal city of uh, in Israel today. What is called today Israel is called Eliot. Eliot, you know, those who been there. Uh, this city, uh, you know, they were depending on fishing for the, their daily bread. You know, like uh, that's the only job the people were doing those days, you know, to eat. And then they will go fishing. They will get some fish and will eat it, and then some they will sell it and maintain their family. They've been doing that for so many years. And subhanallah, these people they started transgressing against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So instead of you know, so narration say that uh, they, their holy day was a Friday. So they asked Allah, Allah, we don't like Friday. So can you please give us Saturday? Instead, so Allah said, granted, I will make a Saturday. That's why we, in time, you want to Google it or you want to research on this topic, just say the people that they don't listen in a Sabbath. They call it the people of a Sabbath. People that refuse the command of Allah for Sabbath. Sabbath in, in Hebrew is Saturday. And in Arabic is Sabbath. So that's why these two people, they, I don't know why they're fighting all along, but it's like they are like a one family. You know, so many words in Hebrew is just, it corresponded with the same meaning in Arabic. So, in short, these people, they say Allah should give their Saturday to be their holiday. So Allah said, okay, I gave you all Saturday, but guess what? Saturday, nobody should work. Don't go to no work. Don't look for any money. Don't look for anything. Don't do fishing. Don't do anything from I mean Saturday. All you do, you worship Allah. Dedicate that one day for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One of the blessings Allah did for us, like we guys know, Friday we are allowed 
to do our business. We are allowed to do any other thing. When it is time for salat, we come, we make the salat like a surah al I said it clearly. We do it then after salat. Hey, if I'm driving my Uber, I will, after salam alaikum, I get me my Uber, I go by my business. So that's a blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But for the Jews, people, Allah have made it like a punishment for them. Don't never, ever go do any business transaction for Saturday. All you do, just dedicate that day to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And what happened? These people, they started making one, one person among the group or you know, one household. They started making game with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They think that it's one of their Allah. And remember, Allah said, Wayam Kuruna, Wayam Kurullah, Allah Kairul Makiri. You can't play game with Allah. He created you. He knows everything you have in your mind. Even before you out and out, before you talk, Allah already knows what you have. What these people used to do. Friday, they say, okay, Allah said we should not do anything. We should not do no fishing Saturday. So what they will do Friday, they will go set the net. The fish will come, the fish will come, you know, like in fact, what the punishment Allah did for them. Every Saturday, fish will come abundant. You could even stand on the shore and then grab the fish. All right? And, but when they, you know, uh, Sunday, Monday, all the other days, they will go for fishing, they can't get no fish. So one of them says, you know what, I got a plan here. So Lord Allah has said we should not do any fishing for Saturday. What I will do, I will set my net for Friday. And then fish will come Saturday, they will get stuck there. And then Sunday, I will go grab it. I didn't disobey Allah. Allah has said I will not do Sunday, Saturday, so I didn't do that. So he did that in the making, you know, uh, uh, again. So uh, the people, the good people among them, told them that what you guys are doing, it's unlawful because Allah said we should not make fishing. So you guys play a game with Allah. So what Allah did, you know, uh, the people that those who that's the topic of our people. Those who, you know, yaburuna bil maruf when hauna al mukar. Those who invited, commanding to do the right thing and forbidding to do the wrong thing. This word told them, no, don't never you do that. Because when you do it, that trick you do it over there, Allah has no it more than you and myself. So don't never you do it. But they continue to do it. These people, they say, okay, you know, so long that happened, we're going to leave this time. They went to another part of the place. They built their house while they make a huge fence be, be, be between them. So another group of people, they were the critic. They told them, why are you bury yourself? These people, Allah has going to punish them anyway. Why are you bury yourself? Just leave them. Let them do. We call it the silent people. Some people committing crime, you know, by fishing. The other group, they say, no, we're not saying anything. Let them do whatever they do. do. But you know that they, 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 their business. We're not doing anything. So the other group said, no, we will deliver the message of Allah. We're not going to give up. We will continue to tell them what you're doing is not right. Guess what? Uh, in short, Subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah had it. Allah said that these people, when they continue to do their fishing, Saturday, in fact, they reached to a point, they were doing it, they're not even putting a net for Friday, they would just come like a regular Saturday, they will come, they get a lot of fish, they make it, you know, celebration, they eat it, they're doing everything. What Allah had did to them, Allah had changed them to apps. You guys know what it for apps? You know, monkey. These people turn to monkey. So those who used to make a doubt, those who used to call in them to, to say, stop disobeying Allah, they, you know, one Sunday, they didn't see them. Monday, they didn't see them. So they went there to their houses. As soon as they opened their doors, all of them turned to monkeys. That's what Allah had done. Allah, now, after the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, up to now, on the Yom Al-Qiyamah, probably Allah is not going to punish people. But those days, when you commit sin, the punishment will come right after you. So Allah had changed them to a group of monkeys. These people, when they opened the door, they saw them. They already changed to monkey. But according to the authentic hadith of the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allah had made them to live only three days. Three days only. But Allah wanted the rest of the people 
those who are calling Allah Subhanahu those who are calling to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, those who are telling them don't do this, don't do this, Allah wanted them to see what will be the consequences, what will be the punishment of those who are not listening to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. So this message is a long story, but it shows to us that in any community, any group, there must be a people that will not give on people. When you see people committing any sin, people are committing mamaya, men and women in the Muslim community, the men and women, they mix it on each other. They're doing so any evil for that matter. Let some group of people, you know, stand up and talk against it. That's why we are a Muslim. Don't never, you, even in your family, you are responsible in your family. If your wife or your children, they are doing something, talk about it. And when those who critic told the Dawah people, why are you bothering yourself? Why you keep telling these people? Leave them, Allah is going to punish them. You know what they say? They say, no, we are doing it. We will continue to make a preaching. We are going to continue to make a preaching because we want to get an excuse in front of Allah, where Allah is going to ask us, what happened you don't deliver the message? What happened you don't make a Dawah? So, that is the reason why we will continue to make a preaching. And then the second reason we are preaching, Wallahi, somebody, some people from this group, some of them will repent. They will be a righteous people. So I'm not going to give up. When I see my friend drinking alcohol, you understand? I'm not going to go around to be publishing his name, gossiping, talking about him. No. I will approach him, I will talk to him, I will say, I say, my brother, we are Muslim, we are a sinner, but what you do over there is not right. I will talk to him, I will confront him, and I'm not going to give on him. I will continue to talk to him until he will leave it. So these people say, we have an excuse. You want to Qiyamah when I stand in front of Allah, Allah is going to say, what happened you saw your friend doing this one? Why you didn't talk about it? All right? But for today, after we deliver the message, we have an excuse in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Besides that, Allah will make some people from this group they will return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they will be the righteous people. Having said that, we have come to the uh, the end of the first break. Barakallahu li wa lakum fil Quran al Karim wa fi sunnat al Nabihi al Mutahara wa ja'alani wa iyaakum mimman yastabi'un al Qawla fa yatabi'un ahsanahu. Aqulu qawli haza wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa li sa'ir al Muslimina wa al Muslimat bi kul zan fa astaghfiruhu inna muhu al Ghafur al Rahim. Alhamdulillahi wa kafa wa salatu wa salam ala nabihi al mustafa This second khutbah you know we will there be very brief because of the time uh, our one of our imam one of our scholar his name Usaymin Ibn Usaymin uh, he said in his something that al amru bil ma'ruf wa nahi an munkar is an obligation on all of us if the whole community, if everybody fold their head and they see some people doing bad and they don't talk about it, the Allah can make the whole entire community to be perished. Allah, if Allah don't do that, Allah will make all of us to suffer simply because we refuse to, you know, preach those who are doing evil. We have to talk about it. Talk about it. Let somebody get mad with you because you're talking about something that he always doing or she's doing. Talk about it. So Usaymin said that you know uh, Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Al Amru bil Ma'ruf wa Nahay al Mulkal Sadaqa. Al Amru bil Ma'ruf Sadaqa. Commanding people to do the right thing is charity. Wa Nahay al Mulkal Sadaqa. Forbidding people to do evil is charity as well. So, but before you be a da'wah worker, before you be an imam, before you go around and stand to preach, you need to get certain, you, you need to meet four uh, conditions. You have to get that, four rules you have to get. That. The first one, excuse me, the first one, al yakuna al amir bil ma'ruf, wa nahi al munkar, aliman bi hukm shak. Don't go stand on the road or stand somewhere. Or if you see gathering, you want to force your way to go stay there to go preach. You 
you don't even know the ruling of the Al Quran. You have never studied this thing. The same way somebody can go learn engineering, somebody can go learn to be a medical doctor, you need to learn this Islam. You have to. It's not that because you are you get a big move in the community or you show yourself pompous that you want to be an imam, you don't even know your left hand from your right hand. You refuse to go to the school for it. You need to go to school. And come to the life, we have the universities. I hope it everywhere. Particularly when you are American citizen, you live in this country, as soon as you apply, well, like it is just a full year. Go there, go to University of Islam in Malaysia, go to Al Azhar University, go to Medina, go to everywhere. They have an Islamic university everywhere. Go and learn. The learning to be an Islamic scholar, you have to learn Arabic language. So you will understand the Quran. When the Imam is reciting the Quran, you get the real meaning, you get the real flavor. That's the first thing. The first one you have to be, you know the book, you have to know the ruling, you have to know everything. 